everybody. We're going to show you the basics behind using a CX31 Olympus microscope, the ones we use in the labs. And in order for me to actually show you what you can see, I'm going to use my computer off to the side. So for now, I'm just showing you a quick image drawn under a glass slide using a Sharpie and observing it at 40x total magnification. So let's start first with the breakdown of the scope, the cleanup, and then everything else. All right, let's break this down from the top. Our oculars that magnify 10 times, our revolving nose piece with a rubberized handle, which allows us to shift everything. This is where we're gonna focus our attention the most of the time. Our four objectives, our stage with a stage clip or specimen clip, our light switch, our light dimmer, our coarse knob, our fine knob, and then we have the Y and X shifters or clip stage maneuvers so that we can actually move around our actual stage. Okay, so the first step we want to take with every scope is to inspect it before we use it. That way you're not liable or responsible for whatever happened before it. Prior to using our scope, we want to make sure that we inspect it. To do so, we run a cursory inspection by looking at the oculars, making sure that the actual oculars themselves are closed. We wanna look at the actual revolving nose piece to ensure that it's at the lowest objective, the 4X one, the one with the red band. We also wanna make sure that our stage is all the way towards the back of the arm, as well as at its lowest case. We wanna make sure that the light switch is off and that the dimmer is completely down or as close as off as it can be. And then at the end, we want to make sure that the actual power cord is fully wrapped up. After we've run our inspection, we also want to clean it. So for that, we will use the strips we provided you of lens paper. We will take one piece by just touching the edges so we don't contaminate the rest of the paper itself, especially with oils. And so what we'll do is clean the oculars and then the objectives. So what we want to do is take the paper and gently pass it over the lens itself, cleaning both of them in your case. And then what we wanna do is take this paper and then just gently pass it under each of the objectives to make sure that they're all clean. So you could rotate these guys a little bit to make sure that all of these guys are taken care of. As long as you return the revolving nose piece to its original 4X objective. So ideally, now that we're done inspecting it and cleaning it, we'll proceed to actually test it. So here, obviously, we wanna plug the cord to make sure that, that we get power, obviously, but also we may wanna double check that the breaker is on. Sometimes light doesn't come through simply because the breaker might be off. So double check for that too. Now, we'll get our switch. You'll usually see a little bit of brightness come through. You can see it from my screen. And then we'll use the dimmer as a way to increase the amount of light available. Now the next piece that we're going to want to do is make sure we know how to load our slide using our stage clip. And so here, we've brought some slides to play with, and we'll utilize these guys as a way to actually start focusing and testing everything out. So in a moment, what we'll do is in this case, draw something on this guy so we can actually observe it, and then test it out with all the objectives. So once we're ready to test our slides, we're gonna have a pre-prepared slide for you guys, but in this case, I'm just drawing a little plus sign over here so we can actually observe it under the scope. And what we wanna do, we'll zoom in so you guys can see a little bit closer. And the way we wanna load our slide is by using it carefully and making sure you don't chip the slide. And so we can actually slide this by opening up the stage clip and then gently closing it up. And now you'll notice that we're able to actually shift the slide back and forth and up and down using our actual X and Y stage maneuvers. So from a distance, using the Y gives us the up and down, using the X gives us the side to side effect. So what we're gonna do here is actually center this slide over the light. You can usually tell there's a little bit of a reflection of the light going on. So I'm going to turn up the light so you can actually see it pass through. And what we're going to do is look for the image that we're interested in. So now I'm going to turn the dim around a little bit more just so we can see a better image. Now we want to learn how to focus this. So the primary way we do this actually has a little bit of a trick. 
So most people are usually looking under the actual oculars to find the image. The easiest trick you can find this is actually take the entire stage all the way up, only under the scanning objective, and then gently do like an eighth of a turn down. And you'll notice on my screen how we usually find the image. So now I'm gonna recenter this guy a little bit more. That way you can see the original drawing. And that's the simple take that it, that it requires for you to actually find it under the 4X or scanning objective. So raise the stage all the way up and give it just a little bit of a turn down. So we're gonna try this again now that I know that I'm in the center of the image. So we'll have this in a second, just focus a little bit more. So we're gonna to want to get as much detail of that guy as we can. So let's start it all over again. Ideally, you'll load up your slide under the stage clip and then while it's all the way to the bottom, what you wanna do is raise it all the way up. You'll notice the direction that I'm turning our course knob in this case. Now, once it's all the way up, you'll notice that it, the image is starting to appear a little bit. And all you wanna do is a very, very tiny one eighth of a turn. And you'll notice that most of the image pops up. At that point in time, you wanna use your fine knob adjuster until you can actually get the best possible focused image. I'm gonna center this guy just so I make it a little bit easier using our X and Y. And there's our little cross that we drew with the Sharpie earlier on that slide. Now, that's all it takes to get us to our 4X objective. That means because it's 4X and then there's 10 on the ocular, we're magnifying that image about 40 times. So now what we wanna do is be able to transition to the next objective. And here's where things get a little bit more specialized. The idea is you can move the the actual objectives from one to the next step without actually touching the objectives. The objectives are fairly expensive and fairly sensitive. So this revolving nose piece that has this rubberized concept, we'll zoom in over there, allows us to rotate without actually touching the objectives themselves. So what we'll do is we'll actually shift it to our next one, which is our 10X. And once I zoom out briefly, you'll notice that the image is still there. This is a concept known as par focality. Once the first objective is in focus, the rest of them are in relative focus and they'll require minimal amount of adjustment. So that means I can only use my fine adjuster to get the image again and have it nice and focused. After you move into the 10X objective, you will no longer touch the coarse adjuster because now you risk actually crushing it into the actual slide itself. So from this point on, we only use the fine adjuster. So we're gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna get close up one more time, just so you can see how close this gets. And using the revolving nose piece, you'll see that our 40X objective, gets really, really close. You'll be touching the slide. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see this a little bit better. You'll also see that the image is still relatively in focus and then again just with a minimal adjustment we'll get the amount of focus that we want now you'll notice that i'm not going to go into the next slide in this case uh, or the objective instead simply because the other one requires oil this is known as an oil immersion lens and so the 100x objective requires an extra little bit of technique which i'm going to look at it from a different angle so from this point on we only go until the 40x so the 400 total magnification. Once you're done, everything is done in reverse. We just return our revolving nose piece, back to one, back to the other. You'll notice that there are all the images are still in focus. And then to take out the slide, we have to lower the stage all the way down. And at this point in time, now we can use the stage clip safely and slide the actual slide out. So that's gonna be our standard observation. Find it all the way up under the 4X or scanning, the red one. Slight turn to find it, as you can see it on the screen, and then minimal adjustment. Once it's nice and sharp and hopefully centered, again, we will stop using the course adjuster. We will no longer use this guy. We'll only use the fine adjusting knob. We'll use the nose piece and it'll appear again. 
you'll see that it's still focus, par focality, and then small adjustments using the fine adjuster. You can do this one more time. And again, minimal adjustment with par focality. Now again, the next step, which is to the next objective, the oil immersion will require an extra step. And so that one we'll use from a different angle. So this is as far as we wanna get right now. All right, to demonstrate the oil immersion, we're gonna actually take a slide that's already prepared. And so we're gonna zoom in to show you the loading. Same idea. We'll let our slide gently allow the stage clip to adjust. And then, I'm going to draw out. While under the 4X, we're going to raise the slide all the way up. And then a gentle, about one eighth of a turn back. If you can actually tell on the screen, you'll actually start seeing our organism. Now, following the same protocol as before, We'll move using the revolving nose piece only without touching the objectives. And then with little adjustment, we'll start finding our organism. Now we'll do this again one more time. I want to center my organism here so I can make sure I can observe it. I'm going to show you this on the screen in a moment. So, let me zoom in a little bit more notice that now I start seeing some organisms on the screen. So we're going to do one more level, making sure that this guy's sharp and centered. On my screen. And then one more parfocality test. Slide in. And as you can tell from the screen, now we actually have organisms, and so we use our fine adjuster until we can get a clearer image. So there we have those. Now, we want to zoom in as closely as possible so we can use our oil immersion for that. And so the way this is done is actually takes a technique. And so we're going to use our little beaker that has our oil inside of it, sometimes in the form of a dropper or a rod. And so I'm going to get up close so you can see the protocol. The way this is done is that once you have your image nice and centered, so as we saw before, we have our actual organism. And then from here, what we're gonna do is do a bit of a half turn and kind of leave it in between the two objectives. At this point in time, I'm gonna take the oil and take the smallest amount of oil we can take, just a tiny little drop, the more oil, the more viscous, um, the more viscosity, sorry, the more difficult that things are to see and the more cleaning we have to do. So a gentle little tap of oil over there, the tiniest drop ever. You can probably tell from the slide. And then this will allow a very close contact between the lens and the actual slide. Now you may not be able to see this, but if I zoom out, you'll now see that we have a full zoom comparison to our organism. So I'm gonna center it a little bit more. And then focus it as best as we can. So now we actually have a clear display of our organism right here. And now typically you can set up your camera to take a picture Take a screenshot as best as you can. Now, once we're done with our oil image, we have to do everything in reverse. So zooming in, what we do is return it back to that kind of inverted V shape. We will actually slide our slide out, take it off, and we proceed to clean this. And then we can actually bring down the stage so that we don't crush into any of the objectives all the way down. And then we can proceed back to the original stages in reverse. Now, after this, then that your charge is to again, use our little lens paper that we've done before and go through every single one of these guys, right? Making sure you clean off all the lenses 
And if you need to rotate them, that's perfectly fine too. Special care needs to be given towards the one that has the oil. Since this guy now has been contaminated with oil, and we need to make sure that we remove, remove any excess oil from it. So you'll probably spend a little bit more time. As you can tell, you can actually see the oil present there. So ideally, we want to make sure we remove it carefully, gently, as much oil until our paper is nice and clean. Don't forget to return it back to its 4x stage. So this is our way that we work our scopes, all the way up to oil and in reverse.